doing things on my own all my life has got me nowhere, except into problems and into an addiction. Growing up, my dad, he was in jail. So my mother pretty much raised uh, me and my younger sister by herself. When I was 13, I started smoking weed. That led to crystal meth. I met a lady who was also an addict. We ended up having three kids together. Because of our addiction, the Department of Children and Family Services stepped in, and eventually the kids was removed from our custody. I broke down crying. I was the worst person or father in the world. My sister was a volunteer for four years at the Union Rescue Mission's kitchen, and she told me to always come down. I was like, I need to get in this program. James was 23 years old when he came to Union Rescue Mission. He had really no idea that he could ever get his kids back, but he took the right step toward recovery and entered into our men's uh, Christian Life Discipleship Program, an intense one-year recovery program. In order to gain custody of his children, James had to prove to the court system that he was trustworthy enough to receive his kids back. The first two or three months was kind of shaky for me. You know, I didn't have no trust in God. I really was like, why would he want me to succeed? Why would he want me to get my kids back? In the chapel, sometimes they call, like, to come up and they pray. I went up and I told him I'm trying to get my kids. We need each other and we need you. It makes sense in places that we can't make sense. And he prayed for me. And I felt God in that moment because everything just came off of me. Like all the weight that I was carrying just kind of like fell off. And I had this sense of everything was going to be all right. We worked to surround James with the support he would need to be reunited with these precious kids. The Department of Children's Services, their goal is to reunite parents with their kids, not to take them away. The DCFS came and evaluated, and you released the kids to me. Christian, come here. Come here. <laughs> it was the, one of the happiest moments of my life, besides seeing their birth. And I told him, you're like, you're gonna stay with me. You're gonna stay with dad. You're gonna live with me. Look what I found. Oh, look what I found. A shoe. I aimed, I put all of my faith in God, and I did it. <laughs> Since I didn't have my father around at the time that they are right now, it makes me feel good knowing that I haven't turned my back on them. Go, 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 go. I'm here for them. I came in, you know, a young man, and I'm leaving, uh, you know, a man. <laughs> this was my second chance to redo it right. <laughs>